And our theme for this morning is divine visitation. And I have one simple thought that I want to convey this morning. It's a teaching, actually. It didn't come from me. According to your response, so is it established onto you. Came from Yoranda. And I understand this as vibrational law. It's the essence of attunement. And vibrational law is a law. It's a universal law. It works all the time, everywhere, regardless of circumstance or setting, regardless of who you are. Law is law. Whether you believe in it or not, whether you understand it, whether you operate by it, whether you live by it, it always works. And what this law says is that where we give our response, so that becomes our experience. And our response is essentially, as I see it, our attention and our energy. It is what we are facing an orientation towards. It is what we're interacting with. It's what we're looking at. And it's what we're listening to. That is what we are giving our response to. And I know from my own experience, and I imagine it's pretty easy for everybody in the world in these days to see things, to see all the distortions that are happening personally, collectively, to see the injustices, to see the hate and the fear, to see the disrespect of life. And the more that I look at it, the more that I interact with it, the more that I believe that that's the reality, the more I start to live out of that perspective. And I notice my feelings start to drop some. I get a little more cynical, a little more upset, a little more off of my balance. And then I think about those things like I'm expecting them. And then eventually acting in a way that might end up calling that towards me. Because at the end of the whole thing, there is this unified radiation where I actually become the vibration that I'm in response to. I know it. I've seen it myself until one day I wake up and look at myself and realize this isn't what I wanted for who I am in the world, for how I see the world, how I see myself, how I relate. And then I remember there's a law and I have a choice of where I give my response. And the greatest teachings that I've known, the greatest truths out there will speak of choice, many things, choice, one. And another is that God is within us, that our connection to the higher realms of divine presence, the true reality of love, truth, and life is through within us. And so we can in any moment go into a space of connection where we're giving our response, where we're giving our attention and energy, where we're looking and listening, facing that, that higher reality that's within each of us, that is the truth of us. And so go into a quiet space, close your eyes, go into your closet, commune with that presence, become familiar with it so that as you move through life, you can tune into that with your eyes open, give it your love response, loving that higher reality knowing that it loves you. And as you do so, something opens. And that absolute love that's unconditional 
finds its way in and through. Think about it. Through your day, calls reminders to think about the divine presence, the divine reality. This higher point of all that is that's available. And as we do, that opens up and something comes through, moving our mind. And then in every action, we can be of service to the divine reality. See, I believe divine visitation happens by visiting the divine. And we have capacities where we can visit the divine and offer our response as often as we like. And then the divine will show up through our capacities. Maybe not an angel of light showing up in front of you, but if you keep doing that, you raise your consciousness and vibration enough, maybe they will.